The name's White. James White. So welcome to another vlog episode, welcome to another week at White Details, another White Detail on another Aston Martin. My name is Jim, and his name is Terry. His name is Terry. The vehicle thus far has received a full safe wash decontamination, it's been clay barred, tar removal, it's a very clean car, there's not a great deal on the surface in terms of bonded contamination, but it all needs to do before any polishing starts. As I say, it's here for the white detail, which is full gold package for major correction of wheels off work, engine bay, full interior, full ceramic treatments, full protection, full push. And it's fellow from Terry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just quickly, we need to assess the paint. Uh, assuming the microphone's all right at this time. Where's the airline? <laughs> So we have a carbon black edition Aston Martin DBS. The vehicle, I'm not sure what year it is, to be honest, it's on a private plate. You can see Terry's busy taping up, ready for some of the delicate areas. The vents at the bonnet, they've been removed to aid and assist safer correction. Three years ago, the vehicle has been done before elsewhere. Quite a big job, quite a big company. Uh, but the owner's just, it's been washed a good few times since, obviously, but the owner really wants it back to its former glory. Now, if you've seen these vlogs before on any other Aston Martin, the modern ones, you'll know that they, uh, a lot of the time, they come with sander marks from the factory. This is a bit of a surprise to see this amount of sander marks still present. So these are body shop induced or factory induced sander marks. But as I say, it has been, uh, it's received a three stage major correction elsewhere. So this lot has been left behind, rear bumper in and around the reversing sensor there. You see how tight the pigtails are off the sanding disc. Really quite heavy down here. If you want to skip this paint inspection stage and go on to the rest of the footage, jump to the number on screen now. Otherwise, here we go. Some more on the edge of the door. Similar to the Ocellus Blue Vanquish that was in four, five, six weeks ago here for the same treatment. The driver's door edge it was really bad on that one. And it's no different here. You can see how heavy it is. Unfinished sander marks. Missed from both the detailer and the factory. On the side skirt. Remains of a buffer trail with the line of sander marks. That's quite difficult area to access to that overhanging ledge but it'll be sorted there's a lot of damage on this lip of the side skirt this is from various washing stages and contact on the sill as as owners get in and out of the car offside mirror we find a strike through 
on the lower portion there. Before it does polish rigid at first, but actually looks like a burn through. Same again there. A lot of bug etchings in the front end, high speed etchings, and then more clusters of sander marks. You see there's a corner, it shapes down edge of the sanding disc from factory in this upper ledge as well, mottled there. Sander marks aside for one second, there are deeper marks through in the mix as well. On the bonnet here, there's two or three scores that run across. There's the remainder of a nice one that runs quite tall on this side of the bonnet. Looking forward to seeing this finish, it's a lovely metallic flame. And then on the top corner of the bonnet, Another nice edge full of sander marks left, ready to be cleared once and for all. And just discovered as well, near side corner of the bumper, we have another strike. Use it without the light here. It actually runs down to, it starts there, actually runs down to about here. So this whole edge is vulnerable. It's gonna be thin, it's gonna need some careful treading on the most part really. Near side sill this time, different light source, you can see the abrasions. Light buffer trailing on the tailgate section. Here you can see them on the offside corner a little bit better. Machine marks in the base of the spoiler to get the pad to flow from here to here. It's got to go through that concave. If we look It runs there, you can even see it there, look. Trail of damage from perhaps the edge of the pad flicking. It's a lovely colour, Terry. It's a real high blue content in the flake. Up on the roof, deeper straws, similar to the bonnet. There's a lot going on up here. It doesn't look bad initially. Whoops, sorry about the brightness. It's going to be easy to do the clearing pass, which is the removal of the light stuff. But the stuff that you can see here, pretty deep. Flatten marks down the vent also. I think we'll start with a time lapse. Just before Terry gets started on the bonnet, I wanted to show this cluster of sender marks in a different light. We now have the scan grip D match high up. Nice flat edge. All the paint has been IPA'd as well. Okay. Total thickness of 185, lacquer 139, 140. There's plenty to play with on the bonnet for sure. Anyway. Initial polish and pad combinations on this rear quarter of the roof line. You can see there's a couple of deeper stray marks left afterwards. This is after two hits with men's 400 and microfiber in the Guayas pad. Other than the need of chasing some deep marks, it's actually responding quite nicely. We go across, start to see the original damage, the deep marks. And if I get a really, really, really zoom, and then we take a closer look at these two and see how rounded off they've become. Struggling there with exposure, a rounded off shallow as opposed to a scratch, scratch. Identifies that it has been done once before. Whereas in that light, they look pretty fresh. <laughs> Terry's tackling some of the detail areas of the hybrid, the very final few 
localised corrections are being made to the roof. These four spots, cluster, cluster, rounded off marks, rounded off marks. So I'm pretty confident with this lot buffed and IPA, this is the roof complete. Or at least this half, anyway. We've got a half to do. Pretty damn good, if I say so. Ah, oh, myself. Happy with the level of correction, the deep marks that were left here. They were all, what was that? That's a smudge from the finger. At least 95% defect removal. Now we've just got this side to tackle. Doesn't look to be anything too deep up this end though. Flatten the corner with sand and marks there though. That's the top surfaces of this uh, offside top of the wing complete. Happy, happy with that. However, in this corner, the crevice there, it's a bit broken in this line still, there's a few scratches, as well as, as well as some evidence of pigtailing remaining. On the most part, the three inches got it. Scratch there, pigtails there. But I'll wait for the eyebrow now to come free to drop uh, the one inch above and below and then continue the hybrid over the top underneath the trim to clear up the rest. <laughs> Really happy with the rear wing. That section's been moved away from now. Going onto the door. This has had one cutting pass. Yeah, it's all right. Travel down, travel down, travel down. Whoa. Pigtails left. This after one cutting pass, these are going to be chased further. There, scratches side of the door needs clearing up. Send in marks here, trails here.
I'm finished off on the front end and terrace and the rear here. We've shown this area before. This is after one cut, so you can see all the damage that's left behind. It's gonna take three or four, it's gonna take three or four cuts really to get this the deepest part. Nice big clusters low down. No one's ever gonna really see this on the lowest portions of the car, which no one's really gonna be able to see, but that's perhaps perhaps why they've been missed or left. But it certainly won't be certainly won't still be here. Certainly won't still be here. God, they trail all around the all corner. The around, yeah. Good luck getting under that. Oh, so let's visit this in half an hour when these areas are tackled. Half hour later, Terry's finished on the back end. And we've got a much clearer, cleaner, lower portion. On the offside corner of the bumper, this would be refined down, sorted, it's looking good. It's looking good through to the smallest area there as well. Kudos, Terry. This is a nasty one. This is going to be a touch up. So, all this haze. It will be cleared with the refining, but we have no more tails, no more flicks, no more ticks, no more problems. Lots of bluey gold metallic flake. The bad news is there hasn't been a great deal of footage of the Aston. The good news is I get a weekend off. DBS Carbon Black Edition finished. This is after the full whitey dub treatment. The vehicle now sits wearing multi-layer ceramic paint protection, wheel protection, caliper, exhaust, leather, interior treatments, full engine bay. The paint was received a major correction, a major paint correction, a multi-stage multi -stage paint correction to eliminate surface defects, hazing, abrasions, buffer trails, scratches, swirls. Lots of sander marks left over from the factory and also left over from a previous detailing session from another company. So I'm gonna keep this nice and short and sweet. Uh, be sure to find us on Instagram for daily insights, updates, and behind the scenes, and also for the new occasional giveaway drop for various random giveaways, including uh, off the back of the monthly episodes and the March vlog, the April vlog, the May vlog. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll see you again very soon.
Dairy, give us a smile. Dairy, dairy, give us a smile.